Happy Sunday to you, friends and viewers of Maloko. Thanks for joining us and thanks for trusting us to bring to you the very best of Caronian Entertainment. This is a fresh edition of your favorite Sunday live program, Maloko. Only on uh, my media prime, The African Eye. Maloko brings to you the very best of Caronian Entertainment. It brings to you the very best of Caronian culture, lifestyle, and a lot more. And we do that through the various segments that we propose for your viewing pleasure. So such as uh, Kungusa, such as a Discovery, such as our kitchen slots and our guests from different walks of life. So if you always wonder how to spend your Sunday afternoons where after church service, maybe after lunch with the kids and your husband, you just want to sit back home and relax. This is the program that you should be watching because trust us, we do our utmost best to handle everything perfectly well for you so in essence what am i saying i'm saying take a seat on the couch if you're drinking juice good and fine if you want to have coffee huh? in Dwala, it's pretty hot whatever it is you're doing just let us take charge of the next two hours as we bring to you just the very best of what we can provide well normally on the program we kick-started a music video for the day and today we've decided to feature none other than lady Pons. enjoy I'm 
welcome back beautiful soundtrack by uh, none other than uh, Cameron Yen, or oh, superstar Lee Pons. We're welcoming our very first guest on the program and we're staying in the line of music. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome a Cameroonian artist that is uh, beginning or has over the years been able to put his uh, footprint when it comes to Cameroonian entertainment. He's a French speaking Cameroonian artist and he's going to be telling us a lot about himself and his musical career. And since he's French speaking, don't be surprised that I will switch straight into French and he may be straight into English. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Gazal on Maluku. Hello and welcome. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Faith. How are you doing today? Uh, very good, very good. Tout va bien. Uh, salut à tous les téléspectateurs de Maloko et bon dimanche à toi, Faith. Mm, D'accord, merci beaucoup. Gazal, ton nom, c'est ton vrai nom? Gazal, c'est le nom d'artiste? Non, c'est mon nom d'artiste. Oh, c'est mon vrai nom. En fait, c'est un nom que j'ai adopté quand j'étais au lycée. Et Gazal, c'est un ancien combattant. Donc, quand je commençais à faire la musique, je... mes textes étaient très engagés. Et mes amis m'ont surnommé Gazal et j'ai adopté ça en grand Jusqu'à présent. Oui. Ça veut que tu as vraiment aimé le nom Oui, j'ai beaucoup aimé. Ça te représente ça. Et ça me ressemble aussi. Ah, ok. Ouais. Bon, on croit que c'est mon nom, c'est mon vrai nom en fait. Mais c'est mon nom d'artiste et je l'ai adopté. J'aime, j'aime votre chaîne. Ça semble être vraiment cher. On va, on va échanger. Ma part est quand même. C'est joli, mais okay, j'aime, yeah, j'aime pour vous plus que j'aime la vie. Ok, il n'y a pas de souci. Voilà. <rire> D'accord. D'accord, Gazal, si on vous demande, euh, vous faites dans quel genre de musique Qu'est-ce que vous allez dire euh, Gazal, c'est un rappeur. Okay. Généralement, j'aime souvent dire que je suis un rappeur 4-4, c'est-à-dire je rappe sur plusieurs styles. Je peux faire du Makosa en rappant, je peux wow. faire euh, la musique urbaine comme euh, on fait maintenant au Cameroun. Je peux faire du Mbolé et tout le reste. Bon, je suis un rappeur euh, aguerri. Donc, mmh. n'importe quel genre, tu, il, y a, il y a possibilité pour toi de pouvoir rapper sur... Oui, je le fais, je le fais. Ok, ça fait combien de temps que vous êtes en musique Bon, je rappe depuis 2008. J'ai commencé à sortir mes projets vraiment à partir de 2014. Sinon, je suis dans depuis 2008. Donc je suis un, un rappeur averti. Ah, ok. That's good. Since 2008. Okay. Mais il euh, y, a, y, a, y a ce qu'on sait qui donne très bien quand on parle de la musique camerounaise. Et c'est vrai que le rap donne. Oui. Mais avec les difficultés qu'il y a chaque jour, tu penses vraiment que le rap camerounais peut t'apporter assez d'argent pour pouvoir te soutenir euh, c'est vrai qu'au départ, quand on commençait, on ne parlait pas, non, on ne pensait pas à l'argent. On faisait ça parce qu'on kiffait, c'était l'amour, mais j'ai des amis qui ont évolué. Nous, on a évolué dans ça aussi et on, ça a commencé à payer. C'est là où on a dit, ah, on s'appelle déjà payer, on s'appelle déjà. Il y a beaucoup qui vivent de ça déjà. Hum. Moi, j'ai réussi déjà à avoir certains cachets que je ne pensais même pas avoir. Je m'amusais juste avec la musique avant comme ça. Parce que j'aimais, j'écrivais mes chansons, je kiffais, mais... Maintenant, ça devient sérieux. Il y a des grands frères qui m'appellent, il y a des featuring qu'on me demande. Je comprends que ça devient sérieux. Ça devient un métier au Cameroun. Bon, l'argent, là, ça, ça, ça donne maintenant bien même. Oui, ça donne. Bon, la façon dont vous êtes, ça veut dire que non, l'argent, là, entre bien. Il ne faut pas être. Il faut dire la vérité quand même. Non, ça va. Que ça encourage des autres rappeurs, qui, les gens qui veulent peut-être essayer la musique camerounaise. Oui, ça. Déjà pour le moment. Par rapport à avant, parce qu'avant c'était très compliqué les rappeurs sous forme. Quand, quand tu parles de compliqué, que, que, que exactement veux-tu dire Ça veut dire que quand tu disais à un parent avant que tu veux rapper, on te dit que tu veux rapper qui tu, tu as vu un rappeur qui a l'argent. Maintenant, quand tu, tu veux rapper, oui, tu peux devenir comme Franco, tu peux devenir comme Ténor, tu peux devenir. Donc, ça encourage quand même certains parents déjà. Oui. Et, parce qu'avant, tous les rappeurs étaient considérés comme des voyous, les bandits, on disait que tu as raté ta vie dans la famille, tout ça, c'était pas. <rire> Maintenant, quand même, et la vérité, c'est que les rappeurs vont devoir à l'école. Oui, c'est vrai. Parce que ce sont des gars qui sont partis à l'école. Maintenant, c'est à encourager. Il faut aussi, c'est vrai que tout ce n'est jamais complet. On doit toujours mettre un coup de pouce pour que les artistes continuent à vivre, essayer de vivre mieux. D'accord. Ok. Parle-nous un peu de tes projets, peut-être des artistes camerounais avec lesquels tu as déjà travaillé. Bon, moi, j'ai grandi à la zone A. J'étais dans le même quartier que Mix. Oh, okay. On a grandi ensemble et on a commencé même ensemble, si je peux dire comme ça. Et à un moment même de sa carrière, j'ai été son backer. Ça veut dire sur scène, j'étais toujours. Oh, wow! Euh, j'étais dans le label Shadow Entertainment. Après, je suis parti avec euh, M. Buzz, mm -hmm. qui est l'animateur télé Dexter Timberlake. Et aujourd'hui, je suis avec. Euh, 
Aujourd'hui, je suis avec Eba en Flampire, qui est le label de, de Ténor. Ténor. Donc, je suis produit par Ténor actuellement. Oh, ok. Et, euh, Ça se passe comment Tout va bien mmh, Tout va bien, tout va bien jusqu'ici. Je suis que tout va bien. Ouais. Parce que quand on demande aux artistes, ah, si tout va bien au label, ils disent toujours que non, tout va bien. Après deux semaines, un mois, trois mois, on voit qu'il est quitté du label. Donc, il faut dire la vérité qu'on est. Il faut oh. que les, les fans puissent, puissent savoir si vraiment euh, ça marche bien. Bon, la chance que moi j'ai souvent eu dans ma carrière, dans ma, dans ma vie d'artiste, c'est que j'ai toujours travaillé avec les jeunes. Donc mes patrons ont toujours été les jeunes. Ça okay. veut dire on se comprend facilement. Quand il y a un souci, je dis voilà, voilà, et ça s'arrange. Donc euh, c'est quelqu'un qui écoute et c'est quelqu'un qui, euh, qui suit ses artistes en fait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Donc, Donc quand même, on, a, on a espoir que tout va se bien, enfin, tout se passe bien, tout et, se passe bien. Ouais. et dans le futur ça va plus. Ouais, ça va aller, ça va aller. C'est Dieu qui décide, mais je crois que tout va bien jusqu'ici. Ok. Parlons alors des projets du futur. Euh, mmh. Que fait Gazal en ce moment Il y a peut-être un album en haut, un single et tout ça et tout ça. Il y a un album qui se prépare et aujourd'hui, à 18h, il y a un clip qui sortira. Ouh Ok. Mmh. C'est pas mais le titre Le titre, c'est ça comme ça. Ça comme ça. Ouais, en featuring avec moi, mon petit Bafoussam, Blackie euh, France. Ok. Vous savez, son producteur qui nous suit depuis Bafoussam, mon majesté Armand. Le sortira de 6 8 heures et vous allez déguster la nouvelle tuerie de Gaza. Ça comme ça, qu'est-ce qui est comme ça qu Qu'est-ce mmh, qu que c'est Ça comme ça, c'est un type qui, qui parle de la femme africaine en fait. Ah ok. Oui, parce que quand on veut décrire chaque personne, quand on va peut-être chez les blancs, c'est que les formes des femmes blanches, c'est généralement elles sont plates et tout et tout. Alors que chez nous en Afrique, on sait que. Quand on parle d'une femme africaine, elle a des formes, elle a des grandes détails, oui. elle sait faire un Comme marché. moi aussi, comme, comme moi. Voilà, ah, je suis, je suis femme africaine. Voilà, on sait un peu de ça qu'il s'agit. Quand il s'agit de femmes, c'est pour ça qu'on a, on a décidé de mettre la femme africaine en valeur. Et on dit donc que c'est toujours ça comme ça, parce que c est, c est, ce sont les formes qui attirent les hommes, ce sont les formes qui... Ouh, voilà, donc c'est un peu ça. Quand tu parles bien. Ça me, ça me donne la joie au cœur. <rire> ça me donne la joie au cœur. Je ne vois aucune base. Ça veut dire que... Non, ça c'est pas un cœur pris en tout cas. Ah, ça veut dire qu'on peut donner un peu aux filles qui sont très visionnées. Parce que c'est vraiment beau. Il faut dire la vérité quand même. J'ai le cœur qui bat un peu, mais j'ai juste que dois me contrôler parce que je suis... <rire> Je suis, je suis live, je suis live quoi. Ça veut dire que les filles quand même peuvent déposer les applications. Et oui, tout ça. surtout que Gaza c'est un bantou, on peut même mettre à 3, à 4. Vous donc, êtes hein? Oui, oui. oui. <rire> c'est l'Afrique qui gagne. C'est vraiment l'Afrique qui gagne. Mais dites-nous, en tant qu'artiste qui est là depuis si longtemps, si tu dois vraiment euh, donner euh, ou dire que voici ce qui empêche la musique camerounaise, ou surtout le rap camerounais, de vraiment grandir et de pouvoir faire plusieurs choses. Que vas-tu euh, vas citer comme des raisons Il y a beaucoup de mots, il y a beaucoup de choses. Il y a l'hypocrisie d'abord entre les artistes. Okay. Ouais, <coughs> ils peuvent se saluer, ils peuvent s'embrasser, mais c'est à peine si tu sors une chanson et ton collègue partage. Mm -hmm. sait, il y a ces choses-là. Bref, il y a les coups bas. En fait, en gros, je vous dirais qu'il y a l'hypocrisie. Il y a beaucoup d'hypocrisie. Mais il faudrait que les, les artistes se mettent ensemble qu'ils se mettent ensemble pour que la musique urbaine évolue, pour que la musique évolue en fait. Donc on doit mettre l'hypocrisie derrière. Oui, il faut que ce soit, que les gars soient droits en fait. Il faut que ce soit droit, sinon ça va rester comme ça et chacun va essayer d'avoir son bon mot de son côté et ça ne va jamais bien. Le Cameroun ne sera jamais devant avec ça. Non, vraiment, mmh. c'est vraiment, c'est vrai. Et euh, on a plusieurs talents ici au Cameroun, on ne peut même pas compter. Oui. Et si on, si, on, si on est là avec l'hypocrisie, ça veut dire qu'on ne veut vraiment pas que l'industrie grandisse et tout ça. Ouais. Et parlons de collaboration, il y a des artistes avec qui tu aimerais travailler en futur euh, Oui, il y a des gars que j'apprécie vraiment. Il y a, je, je, je vais citer un gars comme Marasco. Oh, Bamé Daboy Pour moi, c'est... Je dirais que c'est l'un des plus talentueux au Cameroun. Okay. Mais c'est vrai que je pense qu'il n'est pas reconnu à sa juste valeur. Parce que Madagasco, il a des titres que si ça sortait du Nigeria, ce serait... Ah, oh, c'est très explosif. Je dis souvent que quand j'écoute Sokoto, je me dis que si c'était les Piscoué qui avaient chanté ça, c'est que c'est une chanson interplanétaire. Okay. Mais comme c'est Madagasco et... Et comme nous sommes au Cameroun... Nous sommes au Cameroun, on dit... Il y a un moment où on te dit qu'il ah, chante la même voix, il chante alors que... Bien, bien il ne fait plus que ceux qui viennent d'ailleurs, ceux qui viennent du Nigeria et ceux qui viennent d'ailleurs. 
Donc, c'est un magasco. Bon, il y a un magasco. Bon, il y a mon patron ténor aussi. Ah, que... ouais. <rire> Ça, je sais pas. Ok. Ouais, qui est aussi un gars très fort. Non, vraiment. Okay. Je dirais, pour moi, pour moi c'est le meilleur rappeur au Cameroun. Pour moi, c'est le meilleur rappeur. Les polémiques que. Ah, moi, j'ai dit que ténor, c'est le meilleur rappeur du Cameroun. C'est mon avis à moi. D'autres diront que c'est quelqu'un de meilleur. Non, tu as ton avis et ça compte. Oui, c'est mon ça avis. Ça compte très bien. bien. Donc, je dirais, il y a Magasco, il y a... ils sont nombreux. Okay. Ils sont nombreux qui sont très bons au Cameroun. Mais... J'aimerais bien collaborer. Avec le temps, on va savoir. Stanley et Nord aussi, très ah, bien aussi. Jovi. Le King Kong. Voilà. Le Boko God. Voilà. Ah, ok. Ça fait quatre. Quand même, on ne peut pas citer tout le monde. Voilà, ils sont... Les autres peuvent comprendre. Mais pour les gens qui veulent te suivre sur les réseaux sociaux, c'est quoi le nom mmh, C'est Gaza Le Che. G-H-A-Z-A-L. Okay. Le Che, L-E-C-H-E. Can we have Gaza's name on screen, please Thank you very much. That we know exactly what, what the spelling of the name uh, is. Oh, tu vas nous faire un, une performance bientôt. Je ne sais pas si je, dois, je prononce le nom bien. C'est mon nom, mon nom, nom Yamo. Yamo. Oui. Qu'est-ce que cela veut dire euh, Yamo, c'est un son de joie. C'est la fête, en fait. Ok. C'est un son de joie, c'est le goût, c'est ce qu'on aime. Et c'était écrit sur cette base-là parce qu'il fallait une chanson qui va faire danser aussi. Parce que souvent, j'écris des chansons où il faut conseiller, ou un peu triste, mais il fallait un truc pour faire danser, pour fêter. On a pensé en mieux, il fallait rester un peu original parce que moi j'aime l'originalité. Vous allez voir que même dans mes chansons, je, ma voix ne change pas pour la manière dont je parle, c'est comme ça que je change. C'est sexy, hein? Comme je vous ai dit là, c'est juste que nous sommes, en, <rire> <rire> nous sommes là et je me contrôle. Voilà, voilà, merci. Ok, Donc, okay tu, vous allez nous faire une performance tout à l'heure, mais pour les gens qui vous regardent et vous, ce que, vu ce que vous, vous venez de dire et peut-être les gens qui vous suivent de chaque jour, Dites quelque chose pour inspirer quelqu'un qui se bat chaque jour pour être euh, une meilleure version de mmh, La vérité, c'est qu'il n'y a pas de magie. La seule magie qui peut exister, c'est de travailler. Travailler et croire en soi. Vous savez, tu ne vas pas écouter les gens qui vont te dire « Ah, tu, quand je vais te lancer dans ton truc, tu vas pas... » N'écoute pas trop les chansons, les, 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 les mauvais conseils, en fait. Mmh. Parce qu'il y a des gens qui vont te, te corrompre, qui vont te dire « Ah, tu veux même faire ça, pourquoi ?» tu veux, Si ton cœur te dit « Fais ça et que tu aimes ça, lance-toi dans ça, Dieu va te bénir. » Il faut prier aussi beaucoup, prier. Ah. Et persévérer aussi. C'est vrai. Merci beaucoup de nous avoir joints sur le plateau. Vous n'avez rien dit par rapport à mon français. Je me suis débrouillé pour vous. Hein. Non, je vous parlais. Le Cameroun est bilingue. Si moi-même, je parle en anglais, là, je ne suis pas sûr que je vais m'en sortir comme toi. Donc, <rire> euh, vraiment, j'apprécie vraiment. Merci. Ok, merci beaucoup. On espère que vous allez revenir quand vous avez peut-être d'autres projets. Oui. La, la, la porte est très, très ouverte, grande ouverte. Euh, Merci aussi. Merci. Ok. Nos technicien vont vous indiquer euh, euh, de take you to the stage. Mon français est fini là-bas. Ok. <laughs> well, that was Gazal, our very first guest on uh, Maloko this afternoon. As our guest, uh, show him exactly uh, the stage of performance. Want to encourage you to do well to uh, uh, check him out on all social media platforms as he gets to perform this uh, afternoon on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, whatsoever. Do well to check him out and also on YouTube, most definitely. Definitely subscribe and watch his uh, soundtrack. And as we also encourage you, this is not just the only guest we have on the program. We're encouraging you to stay tuned because we have so many other interesting artists and the persons from different walks of life who are going to be joining us on Maloko. Remember, Maloko means show. DJ, si le son est prêt, on doit s'en jaillir, n'est-ce pas? Let's go. Beaucoup de choses nous plaisent et on se demande souvent pourquoi Beaucoup de choses nous baissent, on sait parce que c'est souvent touchant Il y a des choses qui énervent, comme une des filles qui wattissent Il y a des choses qui nous plaisent, comme une bière fraîche qui transpire La première gorgée est capitale, même il y a une qui sa position La deuxième gorgée c'est un détail, bon, ça dépend souvent des conditions Le jus est bien sucré, son goût est inexplicable La bière aussi sucrée, mais son goût pèse est trop high Il y a des ways dans la life où on s'attache trop facilement il y a des ways dans la life où on se détache très difficilement Il paraît que ce qu'on en ressent hein? C'est souvent le mounion Il paraît que ce qui nous fait rester paix C'est souvent le yamo Un mounion 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 yamo La vie c'est 
c'est une place. On ne bâche pas dans le cercueil. La mort, c'est beaucoup de place. Mais très nombreux à l'accueil. Le parler de gens, excusez-nous. Chacun a ses matins. Un poster est haut, mais fiez-vous, c'est pas parce qu'on ne parle pas. Trop que la vie à fond, fait ce qui est bon. Est-ce qu'on te traite de con Choc comme les gardes en con. La vie, c'est le temps. Ne gère pas les moutons. Dignité, prière, persévérance. Règle de la vie. Est-ce qu'au gris, j'en gaz, tu m'en dérives mmh, Règle de survie. On est né pour émerger. Arrêtez de déranger, on fait mal vous critiquer, on fait même bien vous saboter. Tu sais qui est derrière, monsieur Be. Tu crois pouvoir nous stopper, oh, Grunde. La jalousie te menace, fais un tour à la pharmacie. Jaloxine, un matin de soir, c'est fini. Amounion Yamo, 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 Ici, tic d'un en direct, il y a un de moi, je suis en train de faire un truc là. Je ne sais pas si vous êtes au courant, mais il y a. Il y a. Non, ça m'est fait, j'arrive, j'arrive. Les marmites, much for staying with us that was our very first guest on the program gazelle and like we're encourage ourselves do a lot to check him out on all social media platforms okay that's how we promote 237 entertainment it's time for us to take you on today's discovery page and this time around we're taking you to discover the beautiful city of loom let's go <music> Loom is a municipality in the Mongo division of the littoral region of Cameroon, situated along the Douala and Kongstamba National Road 5, with an estimated population of about 177,429 persons, according to the last statistics. My name is Awangu Benat. I don't run a crisis from Mounty. I don't move now. I don't run a crisis from Mounty. I don't come a station for Loom, but I work at Tombe Loom. So, we did for Loom, we did with our brothers them. Things that they move for this side for Loom, but there's some more difficulties that we face them. Nana Kumba Road from Loom to Kumba, you know, easy. So, the only place where the road be nice enough now from Loom to Tombe, the end for the one, the one going near so saw a bungee. My own the other side and the roads will not be good. So now what problem with the cry for government I say made a fix we road with only plead now plead because for now in our rainy season any coming young way they come out for loom where they go for a bunji near so saw for go carry plancy go carry cocoa yams we no day it is slip for road and we the bike people then when motor don't block for road with the year bad the passengers are that they come out from that bush villages for come for loom with the year bad. So for now we only plead for our happy people that they did for up. So may they find all means. May they hear our cry, fix with the road face. It is a 40 kilometer stretch from the chief town of Kongsamba and about 74 kilometers from the city of Douala. Loom is made up of several villages 
Nous te bli bonan lebe, bonan dam tou, banjoki, balondo, banika, banjoki babon, and some others. Worthy of note is the fact that agriculture is the dominant economic activity in the municipality, not forgetting trade as most of their products are meant for commercial purposes. Loom is recognized in Cameroon as the capital of bananas. Société de Bananeraie du Mongo has obtained geographical recognition for its pepe, white penja pepe, considered as one of the best in the world. Déjà, je, je me présente Mbolo Alexandre Anthony. Je suis un fils de Loom, né à Loom. C'est vrai, j'ai grandi à Douala. J'ai passé le plus grand moment à Douala, mais bien après, je suis revenu dans Loum. Parce que la ville de Loum avant était goudronnée. Vous, même vous voyez maintenant, le goudron, il n'y en a pas. Bon, c'est le temps, nous vivons le temps. Euh, par rapport à avant, Loum était goudronnée. Maintenant, Loum n'est pas goudronnée. Si Loum n'est pas goudronnée, bon, ça dépend de, de, de ce moment que nous vivons. Euh, nous passons un temps de crise que nous connaissons tous. C'est vrai, les choses n'évoluent pas en tant que telles, mais nous sommes quand même là. En ce qui concerne la sécurité, nous sommes là. Most interestingly, the locality is host of hundreds of refugees who fled the violence in the English-speaking regions far back at the end of December 2018. Thank you for staying with us, dear friends. And if you're just tuning in, you're watching Maloko on My Media Prime, your favorite Sunday Life program. We're welcoming next a very talented Cameroonian actress. She's a kid actor, if we can put it that way, and one who has uh, been able to wow and gain a lot of a uh, lot of love when it comes to the heart of Cameroonians who love Cameroonian movies. What are we talking about? We're talking about award-winning Cameroonian actress Faith Fidel, who is here, accompanied by her mom, Lina Ike Chujuke. I was asking her earlier on, like, am I getting this pronunciation <laughs> right because it sounds quite nigerian but let me start with faith hello faith how are you hi i'm fine you're my name you know that right i just told you all right i hope you like me now because of that no i like you already Woo! that warms my heart uh you're welcome uh madam lena thank you faith. how are you doing I'm today I'm okay. okay i like your outfit and the the, the, the beats and everything looks quite traditional Oh, you're from the palace. The Grand Princess. But I just thought that it's time to identify my roots. That's interesting. Okay. So, Faith, I'll start with you. How long have you been into acting? Um, hold, your, hold your mic closer to your mouth. I've been into acting for, I think, six years. Okay. Six. Because I started when I was six. Okay. How old are you now? Um, I'm turning 12 next month. Wow. So, 12. Okay. All right. Six years into okay. Well, six. They can say six years into acting and all of that. What what landed you into? I don't know if I should ask your mom this question or I should ask you because if you started when you were six, let me ask mom the question. <laughs> How did she get her like very first role as as a kid actor? I would have not had to say it. Okay. <laughs> well, you can say that she asked my dad. So. Um, I got my first role, my first role in a movie. Mm -hmm. Because um, I followed my mom okay. on, on one of her sets, oh. and there they needed a kid actress, so they just asked, why don't they just use me to fill in the part? I didn't have many lines, but I was being seen on camera, and I was very excited about that. Okay. Um, uh, the first, my first movie was Tenacity by Lucy Derry. Yes. Um, that was the first movie I was ever on. I just loved seeing how they were setting the, the location, okay. how the, cam the characters got into character, how the director was controlling people, telling them what to do. And that young age, you really fell in love also. with it. Yes, I was. And then it, will, it became to a point that even when I had a place to stay, like if I wanted to stay with my aunt, I would beg my mom to follow her to her set. Wow. How, how was it like for, for you, mom, especially knowing that movies are quite challenging and your, your young daughter just wants to be on every movie set. She wants to follow you to see exactly what you're up to. You know, um, 
movie industry is really excelling now. Mm -hmm. In those days, you would want to sacrifice anything. I'm a government school teacher. Okay. Kindergarten. Wow. Yeah. So Faith is one of my was one of my pupils. Normally, we would close at midday. No, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We close at midday, and sometimes because it's already late, I just have to carry her on, and then. Because the, the producers or the directors will be lenient enough to tell you go catch your yeah. small thing and <laughs> join us at yeah. this time. So that is what actually made me to drag faith along. Yes. Okay. So we found ourselves on set because we could not take time to go home for her to rest. She would rest on set. She was everyone's baby. Okay. All right. Faith, tell us, do you know do you know how how, how smart you sound? Like how how good you sound? In movies, do you like watch yourself and be like, "Oh my God, I, I really look good in this movie." Especially when I watched the sh the trailer for Fisher Mind's Diary, I was I was in awe of your performance. Do you really appreciate yourself as much as we appreciate you? I do. I'm really proud of myself. Okay. I'm proud of myself for mainly two reasons. Okay. Because the first one is because I've seen the final out put on my work of my hard work of mm -hmm. our team's hard work I finally seen the final product okay. and my second reason for being proud of myself is because my mom is proud of me Aww. so that like just makes me feel really proud of myself like I've completed I have nothing to worry about everything is fine okay. I was really happy when I saw myself on screen you've won so many awards already like <laughs> wow in such a a short period of time. You know, you are one awards more than people that have been in the industry for like 20 years. Those people should be angry. Like, I've been there for long. This faith has come and she's, she's gaining all the awards left, right and center. You should be happy about that, aren't you? I'm really happy because I I know because I've been working home. Like, I've told, I told my mom when I was little once that I really want to get into acting. And then she told me that, okay, she's going to help me, like, teach me the basics about acting. And then once in a while, I'll find time for myself and, like, watch a movie and then try to give the lines from a movie. A movie. That I, go, I run to the bathroom and then I go into the mirror <laughs> and I, like, give the lines and I run back and play the movie. And so until I see another part where I can like That's go to the again. Okay, so as a mom, looks like you never had any doubt about whether you should support her or not. Other parents will have like a second thought, like, oh, I'm not really sure I want my daughter to go through that stress because this is just the beginning. Yes. How come you never had any second thought? Well, um, we've grown in a home of four children. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you watch your children and you know what they can do. Sometimes she just stays off the, the lounge, will be wondering where she is, and she would make a room in her own wardrobe. Inside, yes. And then when you find her, she tells you when's lunch ready. After lunch, I have, to, I have a surprise for you. And what she will present is something that already made me to have a view, a, a, something like a preview of what she's going to become. Yes. All right. But uh, aside that, she's growing, now she's a kid actor. There will come a time when she'll grow really big, she'll get into those roles that maybe as an African parent you'd have to greet when you, when you watch them. Are you sure you've thought about all of that? I'm a liberal mother. Okay. Yes, the principles have been laid. Faith knows exactly what is right and what is wrong. Okay. Even if she has to take a role, well, I as a, as a mother, I've seen a lot, I've heard a lot. People like to criticize. That's but true. I think it's not time for that. Shima's diary has proven that with the right role in the right place, you have a good project going. Okay. So if she she's a cast in a project, I will support her and guide her. All right. Yes. You're speaking like a really good mom. I we should we should give you half color after this. <laughs> Faith, what's the best part of acting? Like, what is it about it that makes you so happy? There are lots of things that make me happy about acting, mm -hmm. like um, have, having a different character, a personality, okay. and different locations. Because okay. there are scenes where it's like fun. You get like you're playing with your friends or a running scene. Because I love running. I don't. Yes. It's just something I really love. All right. <clears throat> Especially because 
um, when I go on a set, I get to meet a lot of new people and have a lot of great friends. And just being surrounded by people, I love when I'm sur surrounded by people. So I'm ev I try to my best to be everywhere at one time. And you have you as much fun as possible yes. you find yourself on the set. I, I just love the set. I love the camera. And I hope the camera loves me. Of course it does. That's why you're, you're, we love you. That's why we love you. Can we have behind the scenes pictures of, of Faith doing her thing? Excelling at her thing. But Faith, I want to ask you, looks like it's not just acting. Looks like you're into a lot. Into a lot more. I am. Okay, tell us about it. Um, I'm a contortionist, okay. gymnastics. Okay. Um, I've been in the gymnastics com competition in Marua. And I won bronze. I won bronze for second place okay. for our female team for flexibility. Wow, I, like what we have right now. I the first time I had no idea. I thought it was just acting. The first time I saw these pictures, I was like this girl is going to break her body. I, I didn't know you were this good. And it's self-taught. It, she's self-taught. Yes, yes. Wow. The crisis brought us to this level. Thank God for the crisis. <laughs> no way, no way. <laughs> okay, so so a little, a little. Um, and I don't. I sing a little. Oh, okay. It's like a hobby, something fun I like to do when okay. I'm doing the dishes, my chores. I'm just sitting at home. I can take my headsets. And most of the time, I'm actually not in our living room. Okay. I'm either in my room yes. singing in room. or on the balcony singing. Until my mom would be like, Faith, aren't you tired? Like, no, mom, I'll be in in a second. <laughs> and then one hour later, I finally decide to go back in. <laughs> Oh, wow, so she's really the true definition of, 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 of what a who and an artist is. Uh, we hope to see maybe before we have this interview, uh, what we have behind the scenes for the movie where I come from. We hope to see the trailer of the movie Fisherman's Diary. Yes, if it's ready, I think we can we can see faith in action. My worst part was when they had to, your father in the movie had to use. <laughs> And you mm -hmm. were crying, and I remember asking Cam Quintus, I was asking him, like, was that real? And he said, yes, it was real. I was like, my God, my chest, how was it like for <laughs> you? Um, it was actually unintentional, okay. because um, he missed the spot where he was supposed to actually be flogging hey, me. God and oh. knowing that, I, I didn't want them to stop, because I knew that um, if I could get into my character better, then it's a, like it's going to be more it will be Real. like better for me and it's going yes, to make people believe and get into my character and feel the pain that I, i'm feeling and like just make the people behind the camera believe what's happening mm -hmm. so after that they adjusted everything and they asked if i wanted to take another scene but then i said no if everything was fine because he was very it was actually light and mm -hmm. when flogging me he wasn't even because he made it look like it was like really yeah, that's what acting is yeah, <laughs> that's what acting is but when he like when he reaches on my skin he just stops for a moment just like Acting softly. is good. <laughs> and I was, I was about crying because I watched him flog you. Anyway, if we can have the trailer of the movie before we continue with this, is literally one of the most interesting interviews I've had. If the trailer of the movie Fisherman's Diary is ready, let, let's take a look. Come on. I watch no more. I'm not going to believe I made this guarantee happen for you. You know, go walk by and back with somebody else. Teacher, be busy, wait for your side. Wrong on me, Doppi. You know, we're school. You know, we're Papa. You know, we're time, sir. Papa, I'm not just picking the DC school song. I like her. You don't ever ask yourself a question about this picking the way they did talk, book, book, book. Now, lazy picking them. Book, you know, they do anything for woman picking. What are you doing here? Teacher, is the talk now say it? One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. The girl now, she's called Malala. Now, I've been informed that there's a girl here by the name of Eka who's been attending classes without a father's permission. I can make I am still talking. No child will step his or her feet on this premises without a parent's consent. You should go to school again. No, Papa. I'm not going to school. 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 I'm not going to school.
If I toss me the jingari, they go jingari. If I see me the chop near Mangoro, they go chop near Mangoro. So not come for you to put your mouth for two and not concern you. That was a very impressive, well, impressive acting in the trailer. We had the opportunity, many of many Cameroonians had the opportunity of watching The Fisherman's Diary. And recently, she also starred in the movie uh, uh, Where I Come From. And uh, I'm sure there is a lot more to come. There are so many questions I would, I would want to, to, to ask you. But Faith, there is this, there's this thing about acting. It's, it's true. It's the fun and everything else. I asked your mother this question. I, I want to ask you that. Are you sure you're ready for what is coming ahead of you? Um, I don't know what's coming ahead of me. But I know that I might be able to handle it because... Before I started acting, my mom told me that whenever I feel like I'm under too much pressure, I just have to tell her and then we stop everything. Your mother or we the give best. it a she really is the best. She's like the best mom in the world. Oh, I wish today was <laughs> women's day. <thing. laughs> I would have given her something. Right on, right on. So even when we're doing the fisherman's diary, she came she actually oh, was, she's I was crying. actually really You're making shy. your mom cry on live TV. <laughs> So you guys are gonna make me cry too. I don't want to cry. I'm not going to cry. She came really like emotional. 50 times and asked me, Faith, if you don't want to do this, I understand. And I'm like, Mom, it's fine. I think I can do this. And then my sister will come and then ask me the same thing and then ask me yes. if I need some help. Your sister is back there watching yeah, you and back. smiling all through. Yeah, she went through the whole thing with me translating the script, perfecting my act, my acting and everything. She was there the whole time. Her darkest moments during the rape scene. Yeah. She broke down. I, tr I tried calling my mom so many times until she finally managed called. to take both of them. I only wow. Of both it. of them. I only wow. learned of it when she was already out of accepting the pains that the, that Eka felt. <laughs> and I had to call the producer. At one point I was too much for a child who hasn't had any introduction to sex education and you know getting her into racism. Like that. Yes, when I spoke that actually that, that movie came two months after I got her a book. And that, that novel was titled Manana. Wow. Yes. So when I picked that book I asked her to read through. She had just gone halfway through when school came back. Her story sounds so special. From every indication, all of all of this was meant to be. But I want to ask you a question. Like a mother who has watched her. Anyway, not necessarily a question. Maybe a word of advice for other persons watching. You've watched your child uh, fall in love with entertainment, fall in love with the acting side of entertainment, and mindful of the fact that it's quite difficult in a country like us. What word do you have for mothers out there, parents out there, whose children maybe have the same drive and the same passion? like faith and want to venture into it but maybe they are holding back what would you tell them there's just one reason for parents watching out for their kids okay i do not blame them all right you know there's a lot of delinquency outside there all right and then you have the this thing that parents think that we've not gotten there for children to think they can make it. Yeah. You have parents falling out with children who want to be footballers, musicians, poets, writers. What I want to tell them is that we've been fools for long. What we have has been stolen by those out there who are making it. We just realize that we can make it here. And I want to say a huge congratulations to a lot of producers out there who've made it. Okay. Pintos, Stephanie Tom, Sodi Egbe. Nobody is a failure. So parents out there, please give those children a chance. Don't regret because there's no way you can bring them back yeah. to five years, six years. You want to start 
forcing them to be where they don't want to let them start take pictures of them when these inspirations came so that you have proof how wonderful they were when they were small oh, that that's really that's a really good advice okay i don't i would have been able to clap anyway either way it's fake Okay, you have definitely friends. Like, how do your friends look at you at school? Like, oh my God, star actor, fit, you're super jealous. talented. Are this they jealous of you? Tell me, I'll come to that school and, and talk to them. <laughs> they are not jealous of me, but um, some of them felt like they should have, they should start acting different around me. Oh. Like, some of them started avoiding me, saying that they're not on my level. But each time I'll go to their chair and be like, look, it's the same thing. And if you decide you want to keep yourself from me, that doesn't mean I'm going to keep myself from you. <laughs> so we're going to be friends no matter what you do. Okay. So some of them are like, Faith, I saw you on TV. Is that why? Is that why I called you yesterday? You weren't there. I came to the house. You weren't. I was like, I'm so sorry, but maybe you can tell me before coming so that I know if I'm going to be home or not. So what them? Most of them are not even talking to me now because oh. they feel like no, she's a star. How dare they? Anyway, they are going to come around, okay? The they are going to come around. It's not, it's not easy. You, you have something to add? The challenge is not really from her friends. Okay. It's the, the adults. Oh, okay. The, the, the teachers have had to withdraw her from schools because normally her hair, her Anglo Saxon uh, that system is true. It doesn't will not permit really, a that child is, of course, of having course. hair like this. So normally, when we present her personality to the authority, we have teachers who just come into class, some pulling her hair. Who do you think you are? Jesus. Some shaving hair. We just had that, so her hair had to That's be shaved. Crazy. Yes, but it was solved before time. Okay. We have okay. Some teachers who are so crazy about her. Sometimes in class, like she wants to ask her a question. Yes, legend. You know, so <laughs> they want to attempt to give her preferential treatment yes, because of that. Society, ah, okay, yeah. I understand. Yes. And we have to break this myth. It's yes. like we have to tell them it's a normal thing. It's just like having a talent as a teacher. No, yes. I cannot stand in front of a class, class and teach. Yes. So if it has its acting and a lot more, we should be able to accept and provide an environment that permits her. And that's why we have to have these conversations every day on, yes, yes, on yes, all yes. platforms that we can so that she can feel comfortable to grow. Yes. And meanwhile, Faith, you sound so. You don't sound, should I say, I don't want to say Cameroonian, but you have, like, this white man has said, have you ever lived abroad? <laughs> have you ever lived abroad, or it's just in this country where the English is really good? It's just this country. I've never been out of the country. That's good. We have good schools. Amen. Yes, we're teaching our children right. Because back then, the way I learned English, it's not, <laughs> it's not the same. Anyway, what are your social media handles, Faith? Um, on... On YouTube, um, my name there is just Faith Fidel. Okay. Um, on Instagram, it's Faith Fidel, eight, Faith Fidel eighty four. Okay. Um, on, on Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, the same thing, Faith Fidel eighty four. Okay. Just trying something new. <laughs> <laughs> just trying something new. She's still talking. Oh, um, you're on TikTok too. Um, on TikTok, it's Faith, Faith Fidel, Fidel zero. zero. Okay. I'm sure all everybody watching wanted to uh, uh, take our time to check you out on all the social media platforms. But anyway, we've had we have had a really good time, but sadly we have to let you go. What do you have to tell those that are watching you now? Like, oh my God, she's super talented. I love her, and maybe persons that you inspire already at this young age. What do you have to tell them? Um, I would love to tell them that. Um, they should just believe in their self. I do this all the time and people tell me I'm doing it too much But it's the one message that I feel like many people don't like really get like they feel like they should be encouraged by other people but okay. You don't need to be encouraged by other people you can encourage yourself and then when people see you They believe in you. you they start encouraging you too. So I just want to say that if you have a talent, don't wait for someone to tell you you're good at it. Believe in yourself you're good at it, and you'll get really far with it. Well said. Perfectly said. Thank you so very much, Faith, for having joined us on the program. Thank you. I will hope you come again. I hope so, too. All right. Thank, thank you, you, Mommy, for having accompanied her you're and for supporting her this far. Thank you. All right. So, like I said, our doors are wide open, so you can come again. Meanwhile, Faith, you like ice cream? You like ice I cream? do. Okay, let's show you how to do homemade vanilla ice cream before you guys uh, yes. take, take your leave. <laughs> let's go. Okay.
vanilla ice cream. You only need three ingredients for this easy homemade ice cream recipe. This ice cream is so perfect. You're going to make this and you're not going to believe that you made this. You don't need any ice cream machine. So let me show you how to make your own ice cream. Be your own ice cream girl. The ingredients you need are heavy whipping cream, sweetened condensed milk, and vanilla extract. Pour two cups of heavy whipping cream into a bowl. Heavy whipping cream or heavy cream or cream is a dairy product just like milk but thicker with more fat. You can find heavy cream in the fridge section of supermarkets. Beat the cream until stiff peaks form. When the cream gets stiff like this, stop beating it. If you beat it any further, it will turn into butter. <laughs> delicious but that's not what we are going for add in a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk then add in two tablespoons of vanilla extract i added a little more vanilla extract you know just to drive home the fact that this is vanilla ice cream mix everything to combine I normally use the electric beater for this but something came over me and I decided to fold in the ingredients using a spatula. Well, it didn't go well because the mixture didn't turn out smooth. I had to go back to my old ways. I brought back the electric beater and it did the job just fine. Use an electric beater to beat everything together until smooth. Pour the mixture into a loaf pan. A loaf pan is good for freezing ice cream because it gives you a large surface for scooping the ice cream. Use a spatula to level the top. Cover with plastic wrap, making sure the plastic wrap touches the mixture. Place the bowl into the freezer and let it freeze for 7 hours or until completely frozen. I left mine to freeze overnight. Now this is the part you do not want to miss. Make sure you lick the bowl and spoon from which came the ice cream mixture. So this is our ice cream which I had overnight in the freezer. Oh my god, I'm just going to open this up. After about 7 hours in the freezer, your ice cream is ready. Scoop and enjoy. It's so creamy, the vanilla flavor is very present. Oh. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. So refreshing it is so good you guys you have to try this homemade vanilla ice cream. thank you very much for staying with us dear friends and um, if you're just putting on your TV screens the truth is you've missed quite a lot but trust us this segment this particular guest is one not to miss. Join us welcome super talented Cameroonian rapper Young Holiday. You're welcome to my record. Hi, thank you very much. How thank you, you so much. Uh, I'm awesome. It was right. just a little hectic getting here, but 
everything turned out great. You know, it, first times are it's always a charm. Don't worry. From here, because you're going to come here many times. Oh, thank you very much. I'm <laughs> looking forward to that. All right. So, uh, young holiday, you you are a very peculiar Cameroonian rapper. That is not the description that I am giving you. It's a description that many Cameroonians have given to you when they've listened to you. Uh, several you have been able to work with you. What do you think makes your 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 art? different well i would not like to describe the art as different okay. i would just like to describe it as valuable right. so it's there's really nothing different about my art okay i'm not one of those people who try to be different i just try to be valuable okay. so i make sure in every situation i have some value to add so in my art i'm bringing my experience into it and that experience is aimed at adding value to the lives of youths and everybody out there who listens to my music. Okay. So it's just valuable art. It's really it's nothing different nothing about different. it. No. But you know, there's, uh, well, anyway, art in itself is really valuable. So, well, it makes sense because there are people that don't really add value. So you adding value makes, <laughs> makes a lot of sense. But anyway, Young Holiday, you're trending. You're trending quite a lot these days because you've uh, you're giving us a, a double for our hustle for our stress and so much more yes you recently created a, a subscription platform one of its kind the very first an artist has ever created care to tell us about it while we have uh, pictures of it on display what is it all about okay so my website youngholiday.art okay. it's a way for me to make money from my fan base it's a way for me to monetize a niche Okay. Because what I noticed is a lot of us want to be mainstream. Okay. But yeah, at the end of the day, <laughs> it's a really sad thing to know, but about 95% of upcoming artists will not get to be mainstream. Never. Yeah, we have just 5% that will break into mainstream. I you mean, be that 5%? Uh, I, I, I want to build a structure where if you're not in that 5% that breaks into the mainstream, your music can still support your lifestyle. Okay. So people should understand that with music, you can make a living from it. Mm -hmm. Just like Faith's mom was saying, Faith was doing extraordinary things, and it's because she was able to make money from that. That's why her parents can actually comfortably allow her to do that. That's but true. in her own true. time, you, you do music, and you're not able to pay PTA. <laughs> 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 that's <laughs> sad but it's so true i cannot argue yeah, you right you now you're not even be able to pay pta fee that was about one five then so i'm trying to build a structure where as an artist you can make money with 15 fans that you have if you have 15 people that believe that in your music, your music that support your music you make money from there now these bigger platforms youtube itunes they are not built for the upcoming artists they are not built for the upcoming Sorry. artist. They are built for mainstream artists. So before planning to get mainstream, which is a, it, it's, it's a dream which many people don't take into consideration. They just, they just dream about it. You just work. Somebody will spend about $3 million to do a song, do a video, do promo, and hope that the song will blow and you will magically make, <laughs> make money. And at the end of it, <laughs> it, there's a very high chance that it's not going to blow. There's a very high chance that it's not Looks going like to you blow. Studied every, got, it's not easy to have. We have few Cameroonian uh, um, artists, rappers. Sorry to say this, that really think about all of this. Looks like you've taken everything into consideration, and you're trying to create something that can really make sure that your art and the work you put in does not go to waste. Yeah, that's true. So right now, with this platform, if I'm creating a niche of, let's say, 500 people. Okay who are willing to support my art monthly yeah. with 300 francs. Like if I have about 500 people, I think that'll be giving me like 100 and something yes, of course. per month. And with that, I can support things because trust me, a lot of upcoming artists would like to act like they are good. They would like to dress good and do one branding thing that makes them look like they are surviving, but their art cannot pay yeah, even transport money to come to. <laughs> My <laughs> media prime. A lot of artists are broke and there's no plan to make money. The plan is that they will call you for shows. And even the top artists, the very top, they have they don't have up to ten to fifteen shows a year. So you Most as an upcoming artist, yeah, really they, will, they will call you and tell you we are doing it for exposure, so just come and do it. And they might not even pay your transport to do it. 
So at the end of the day, you keep spending money for studio bills and all of that without making anything back because you don't know that the 50 people you have can actually, can support, actually you support you, to take you to take you to that mainstream that you dream. Okay. So this platform is a way for me to actually gain control okay. over the music I do and to monetize a fan base. And I do music for the conscious mind. I do That's conscious, I conscious rap. Art. Yeah, I do conscious acts. So if there are 1,000 people who listen to that and they want to vibe to that music, these 1,000 people are going to give me enough, enough finance, enough support for me, for my message to get to the other 1 billion people out there. Right, you, you, you've spoken so well. So let's now know exactly how the platform works. Do I just log on to the website? What exactly, how do I go about it? Okay. Okay, so first of all, to get the platform, we are not ranked very high right now on okay. Google. Our SEO is not the best right now because okay. we are just a new platform. Normally. But with time, we are going to get more visitors and it will be more visible. All right. But right now, you just search youngholiday.art. Youngholiday.art. Can we art. have the image once more? Thank you. So that we see exactly what it looks like. Yeah, this is what so it looks like, right? When you search youngholiday.art, okay. it takes you to this page. Okay. And right now, when you're at the <laughs> home page, you're going to see a subscribe button. All right. Even if you don't click on the subscribe button, when you get to the page, you click on anything there. It's going to take you to the subscribe place. So it's just click anything on the page. It will mm -hmm. take you, it will redirect you to, All right. to, to sign up. All right. Now, after signing up, if it doesn't automatically redirect you to where you subscribe, by the time you try to play a song or you try to play anything, it takes you it back takes you there. You have to, go do to that where you have you to can. subscribe before yeah. you can play a song. Okay. Now, with the subscription bundles, there is 300 francs per month. There's 1,500 wow. in six months. And then there's 3,000 a year. That is super, super affordable. Yeah, it's really, we are trying to make music consumption for Cameroonians very affordable. Mm -hmm. And for people to understand that, you, you, you <laughs> just need... A rich man is someone who can convince everybody to give him well, 100, 100 francs of you're their income. So when you get there, when you subscribe for 300 francs a month, you have okay. access to everything I have ever released. You can stream it online and you have access to everything I will release in that month. Okay. Like in this month, I've released a new EP titled Path to Greatness, we're about, we're about, we're about to get which to has that. 10 songs. And when you subscribe, you have access to those songs. You can stream them online. And next for week, that little amount yeah, just of money. For, for 300 francs a month. And I have a whole catalog of about 30 something songs, which I've imagine? released already. It's on the website, and I'll be releasing a video, I think, next week, oh, okay. which will be on the website. It's going to be exclusive on the website. So for people who love my art, they get to listen to my songs first. They are the VIP of my world, so they get to listen <laughs> to my songs first, and they get the exclusives of everything. Okay. Then with time, I can then get the songs out on other platforms, but for now, everything is on my website. On website. Can we ask, please don't be stingy. When when did you ever hear that music was made this available for you at such an affordable price? Let's let's support. I don't want to use the terms of what I own, but let's support conscious art, valuable art. Okay, can't say bon, say bon. Okay, let's get to path to greatness. Let's talk about it. And the titles of the soundtracks are actually very very catchy. But before you get to telling us about um, this 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 uh, work of art, how long did it take you to? bring or put all of this together okay for the path to greatness project uh there are songs there that are recorded i think last year oh. there are songs there that are recorded last year mm -hmm. and it took it, it it takes a while to bring a project together Most definitely. but for everything like when you record songs and you listen to them, when you're about to do a project, most of the times you re-record the songs, sure. master them and all okay. of that. So that's like something that took us about a month. Mm -hmm. And Path to Greatness, it's not just a project on its own. It's an EP that announces an album coming up, oh, which will okay. be titled Greatness. So, we are to on the so you're on the path to greatness. <laughs> to greatness so. And you're sure that you are greatness? Well, you will get to find out as we go on. It's a journey. <laughs> okay so it's a journey as you go on you get to understand what greatness really is all right so we have uh the intro that's that's what you're going to be performing for us the yeah we're performing the intro shot we have only you 
we have written in the stars i don't know why this one touches me maybe it's because i'm a romantic i'm a <laughs> i'm a helpless romantic maybe that's why mr master by spirit t one Cameroonian artist that i admire a lot we have ignorance featuring benny clancy we have first call we have cypher part one featuring a boy tag sima we have wishes and memories we have hold on warming up we have the outro and cypher part two and uh we have uh, other artists that are featured on it. We have Crispy, Benny, Clancy, Blueprint, Hakim. Meaning, it looks like you went for the very best of Cameroonian rappers to, to, to feature on this project. Well, I just went for everybody I can connect with their message okay. and the people I could reach out to. I personally listen to a, a lot of Cameroon rap. Mm -hmm. And I went for the people that are really connected to their own music and their art. The, the artists there, they really have a lot to offer when it comes to rap music and okay. conscious lyrics. They are top so you, Your goal. spirit is connected because I know yeah. rap is, music in itself is very spiritual and rap even more spiritual. Yeah, and I really want to thank all of the artists for being, for sharing their own journey with mine because it's really not easy putting people together for a project. It's yeah, sure. one really Probably hectic yeah. process and I really want to thank every artist, Boy Dark, Mine, Clancy, ABC, Lomi, Sima, everybody, Crispy, they, they made it, they made it amazing. Possible. All right. Yeah. Do you have any favorite on this, on this track? Uh, don't even it's dare really say that difficult for me on. to choose a favorite in my, it's like asking God to choose a favorite human <laughs> being. He created all of us and he loves all of us <laughs> equally. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Okay, what was the most tasking soundtrack? What was the most difficult one? I think the most difficult track there to, to do, uh, to write, was Ignorance. Ignorance. That yeah, is Ignorance. Four, three, three. Yeah, because three Ignorance, it's a really deep and difficult topic. Yes. Because yes. we might want to bring down Ignorance to just saying you don't know everything. But at every point, there's a level of ignorance of that course. everybody has. Of and ignorance is a, is a soundtrack that gets into the mind of a curious person. Mm -hmm. Like, how do curious people think? Do they feel like they know enough? Do they feel like they want to know more? And you discover the more you want to know, the more you discover you actually don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> I feel so, so attacked just, right now. You just discover <laughs> it, it's really hard. And the one line in ignorance that really caught everything for me is the line in the song that says thing one no 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 fit kill me like it's someone it sums up the whole idea of of ignorance, of ignorance right there and the, the song was really difficult for me to write because there's a lot there's a lot about ignorance and even there. you writing it also ignorance <laughs> yeah, so, so. there's really a lot about it and doing the ciphers bringing people together to do a cypher it's also really difficult sure I think. of course yeah those were the most tasking tracks for me okay all right to so those watching who are like oh my god Cameroonian artists creating a very first subscription platform at a very affordable price and they are still thinking like is this going to work please take out that ignorance from them and <laughs> looking straight into you <laughs> tell, tell them tell, speak some sense into their heads those watching out there that want to definitely follow you and and maybe try out the subscription platform what do you have to tell them Okay, first of all, the first thing I would like to tell them is music is about connection. Music is about connecting to other people's experiences. Okay. And don't just subscribe because someone tells you to subscribe. Don't just subscribe because they keep telling you support your own and all of that. Subscribe because you want to connect to a wider range of opportunities and emotions out there. Subscribe to this platform because you're looking for value. If you're out there and you're a curious person and you're somebody who likes to know things, you're someone who likes to feel, who likes to explore, this is definitely the right place for you to be. There, there, there is so much coming up on the website. It's not just music. Okay. It's about consciousness. It's about awareness. It's about understanding our emotions. So there, there is so much coming up on the website. There will be reality shows and all of that. Wow. Yeah, there's so much coming there. So if you're somebody who is that adventurous and you want to explore your own self, you want to be more self-aware, you want to understand your self-awareness, definitely this, this, this platform is for you. There, there's a lot about w that coming up. www.youngholiday.art yeah. What else do you want? Tip! 
that's the worst part. That's the part that is aching me because I'm not sure if I created a website, I'll put it at that that, that price. No, it's actually really good. It's it's amazing. It's going fine. So far, we have close to 300 subscribers, and you are making money. Young <laughs> we have close to 300 subscribers wow. already, and we have about <laughs> 750 signups people who have actually signed up and that's a, already a big platform okay. for me okay. based on advertisement and all of that i have a really wide range right now and it's just one week old are you like employing workers or something well like, i do like this <laughs> i do it right now with a friend of mine who built the person who built the, the, website. the website he's actually a friend and someone who supports me like to the end of okay. earth if so. you need somebody i'm just saying if you need some <laughs> extra work i'm right here oh, definitely, okay definitely. <laughs> anyway thank you so much for joining us on the program and thank we so we wish you just the very best when it comes to this platform okay thank coming you. from a young artist that still has a long way to go that still has to show us a lot of his greatness it is laudable we've never had it and it's only normal that we support as much as possible but before you perform the intro Okay, before you perform, would love for you to do us an acapella, anything of any any one of your choice. I want to I don't want your songs to be playing and you're rapping. I want to hear you Okay. Win my okay, win me over or something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me do an acapella of the song Written in the Stars. Ooh, since it's the that? one that caught yes. you. Yes. So the song goes like you think I do this for your validation. Do you think I chose this to be my occupation? It, it was written in the stars, printed in the galaxies, encrypted in the bars. So that is why I peace on fear. You do not see me in line with critters. When they told me the price of fame, I said I was the wrong bidder. I am. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> wow, thank you so much for smiling. Really wide. It's wide. That's amazing. <laughs> So the whole track written in the stars is just about telling people that your destiny is not in the hands of any man. Okay. It's already written in the stars. All right. And I will get there now or never. Wow. Perfectly said. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Young Holiday uh, on Maluku this uh, afternoon. And like I earlier on said, he created a, a, a platform one ha which has never existed when it comes to Kamoyan entertainment and uh, he's going to be taking the center stage our, our technicians will be indicating to him to take the center stage to perform the intro shot please do all to subscribe please do all to subscribe to his uh, website www.youngholiday.art and like he said it's not just about music there is a lot coming up that sums up entertainment and that sums up uh, greatness also he uh just released recently released his ep all of that is available on the on the website it's dubbed it's titled path to greatness what else am i saying you do well to go subscribe i shouldn't tell you everything okay if we are ready dj i'm excited to watch He's looking to the sky, his last wish before he dies, can somebody tell his mom? He should have told her he loved her before leaving the house, now who would tell her? It's 12 o'clock and she's still waiting for her son to come home. She stops and walks across the room praying to God for some hope. It's not his norm to keep his mom this long awake in the cold. Picks up her phone before he calls the last 80 calls no go. Peeping through the window she's reminded she's a widow. By that same feeling that she had the night she lost her hero. By herself to dry her tears crying all alone. With no idea her son is there lying by the road. He's been shot. His eyes look into the sky. His last wish before he dies. Can somebody tell his mom? He should have told her he loved her before leaving the house. But why the hell does he bother when he's been shot? His life cut short. He's running out of blood. He's been shot. Yeah. It's six o'clock. He blows on social media and over the news. He 
in the quest to sound smart, depress people of other views. We concerned on who to slap as we uphold the sides we choose. We connect the roots of broken facts and turn to find the proof. So we can say we have said it before, pointing fingers at each other, ready to shoot the flames to whoever's standing at the other side of the philosophy, tossing the coins to decide who is fit to leave. To many is barely statistics, another instrument of propaganda, the reason they celebrate as long as they can use it to trap the weak fit remorse. Nobody cares of his mother. So the fact they sent to the grave from that potential and dreams. This is a milk, his job, his feelings, so don't expect me to not cry over this. I said, there, old woman, they lose that day. He said, go find whatever did this. The only thing she heard was son's been shot. We found him lying in the streets with no life in his body. It doesn't matter what they say, he's been shot. It's the only sentence in her mind. She goes deaf to every explanation, suddenly exclaims. My son's been shot. My boy's been shot. He's been shot. Welcome back to the program. Thank you very much for having stayed with us. And if you're just tuning in, you're watching uh, Cockro on uh, my episode, my local on my media prime. Meanwhile, so many Cameroonians are sad and angry with the intermediate lions after they were defeated by Morocco four goals to zero. That was that was hard. Was still beaten by Gu Guinea two goals to zero. And many persons were like, why did they even did they even raise our hopes and all of that? But the truth is, what is done is done. The key arrive, key arrive, arrive. And we just have to move forward. And at least appreciate the little that they have done. Producer, let's see something, okay? Let's let's see exactly how <laughs> how it went down. But either way, it's okay. We're hoping for a better performance. Many persons agreed with the fact that, well, they did not have the training that was needed. They had not had the possibility of exercising. They now have the possibility of exercising their know-how and all of that. But either way, we still lost them, okay? There are even rumors that they, they were almost not accompanied back to their, their boat. But either way, all of them can be young. We have seen worse days. We've had worse heartbreaks. Meanwhile, let's talk about this pretty striking story of this young man that decided that he wanted to be buried with his father. What shall we not see in this outside that we are inside? The young man said, no, daddy is dead, oh. I want to be buried with him. His elder brother tried to stop him at all, but he was insisting. So the sister, no, I want to be married to the point where they were already throwing, uh, how do I say, uh, they were trying to cover up the grave and all of that. This is, this looks like, to many people, it looks like someone's serious thing or you never really know if that guy was going through some form of mental illness. He was traumatized by his father's death. There's something mystical about it, but we shouldn't joke. The funny part is the fact that persons, there were onlookers right there who didn't do anything. In every indication, this man is not in his right sense, uh, 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 mind, frame of mind. And the best thing that we could do or have to do as individuals is to make sure we save him. He may be thinking that it's the right thing that he's doing based on the trauma and the hurt that he has when it comes to losing his father. But it's a shame that many of us will sit and watch this thing happen. The right thing for the crowd to do was to pull him out of there as fast as possible and ensure that he is saved. So this is a very terrible video. Imagine choking down there and watching persons bury you because you say you want to go with your daddy. Grief, we all we all grieve in different ways. <laughs> Chili is already shaking her head like, what's happening? <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's really grievous, okay? We can do better. For those of us onlookers who just want to film and send it on social media, shame on you. Because you're supposed to be your brother's keeper. You don't know what depression looks like. You don't know what pain looks like until you've experienced something. And the worst part of it is the way you experience pain is not the way I experience pain. So that video is just one out of the millions of ways that people go through pain. So please be kind always and do your best 
to be able to salvage or save a brother or a sister from taking their own life. Suicide is definitely never an option. Let's welcome our artist, the next artist we have on the program, definitely the last. Yes, we always save the best for last. She just, she's just in here looking all gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, here are you. You're welcome to Matt Loco. Can you hold your mic closer? Yeah, your beautiful voice. Thank you, Faith. Always a pleasure. All right. Meeting you for the first time. Yeah, I see you on TV, music videos, and all of that. How long did it take you to look this beautiful? <laughs> How long? Mm -hmm. That's a technical question. Yeah. Uh, um, Tell us, how long did it take you to look all, all this beautiful and, and stepping here and, and, and see you? Okay, it took me just one hour going to church, coming back, and I felt somehow light. Okay. And happy. Uh, yes. Kili, you do music that is melodious, it's rhythmic, it's different, it's African. Did you just wake up and say, okay, this is the kind of music I want to do? There is a story behind it that definitely. The to know. You want yes, to share with us? There is, yes, I would like to share. Okay. I grew up in so I spent almost um, 19 years oh. in so Okay. Accompanied by my grandmom and my grandparents. And you know, so it's a very cultural setting. Of course, I've, I've spent holidays. We speak Lamsa like from morning to evening. Exactly. <laughs> then a lot of cultural evenings, a lot of cultural events, gatherings, that you you would have no choice but to be inspired by them. Okay. So when I got to the university, I was like, oh my God. I cannot just forget about this great rhythms that I used to hear in so. Okay. This inspirations I got from my grandmom. I could not just leave them and in my grandmom's kitchen, but trying to export them to the world, for the part of the world or the whole part of the world to get a touch of that taste of where I come from, okay. from Saw. All right. Aside the cultural setting in which you find yourself, the influence of your grandma or the influence of the area in which you grew up, any other African stars that reminded you that, you know what, this is actually the right path? Any stars that... Yeah. Represented the Africanness that you're trying to portray to the yes. world right now. Miwe Makeba used to touch me a lot. Salim oh. Yolot Sudi. Okay. Yes, and I will not always forget my brother Richard Kings. He has been an inspiration. All right. Yeah. So those are the persons that helped you to be able to to bring other part of you. Definitely. But Chile, you know, it's not easy to do this kind of music. It is not easy in Cameroon. Yeah, it's not easy in Cameroon to do this kind of music. And even if, even when you listen to the parkour, like we'd say in French, of other artists that have actually been able to succeed with this kind of music, you realize that they had a very hard time. What is the conviction that drives you? Because knowing that something is not easy to do, <laughs> and even when I say every other thing, any, every other kind of music is not easy, oh, but yeah. this one is extra difficult, but you had the conviction and you decided to actually do this. Yes, I think anywhere else it's difficult because no one ever said it was easy and I think in life it's just about that faith mm -hmm. <laughs> like your name that belief yeah that you believe and that consistency let people believe and know that you've been doing this thing and you do it with the love for it they will have no choice but to adapt oh. adapt to it and, and, and start liking it and I think uh, through all the time hard work consistency and faith in what I've been doing has really brought me fulfillment okay. and I think there's no easy part you just need to keep working harder and, and believing in yourself okay. mm -hmm. all right so this is a new year and normally when new year starts artists have tons and tons of projects so many yeah. things so are you continuing in the same path or there's going to be any form of blending and stuff like that any yeah, new through, projects through the years <coughs> I've been blending the indigenous music that I've been doing with uh, with other genres of music in what I term the, the, the jam pop. Jam so, pop? Yes, with okay. what I did with Bonge Longe and right. some other featurings too that I tried to do with some other acts in the industry. And for me this year, 2021, it's like that one in front, I want to like, it's a start. It, it, it's a river of okay. Wawaii. Because I, I kind of put the cuts on the table and I'm like, okay, what kind of music really took me to where I am? What kind of music brought me achievements, brought me awards, took me out of the country, took me to places that I've ever wished to be? Mm -hmm. And it's that originality. It's that originality because around the world, it's 
there are lots of few acts doing original stuff. That's true. And we are beginning to believe that that real thing is in us. Yeah. That real thing is in the roots. That real thing is, is that which the world doesn't have. The representation so, of who you are. Who we are. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm really grateful and I see a lot of my young friends going back to the roots and really being proud of who they, they are. Mm -hmm. Because in the past, you see young people, they are shy of their mother tongue. But now everybody's trying to embrace their yeah, culture. Yeah, we want so, to put all of that into the so music feel, and everything we do. I feel strongly that the work I've been putting in the past years it's yielding. It's, yes, it's really yielding fruit, and I'm so excited. Yeah, because back then, putting on your traditional reg not back then, like it was funny for people to easily put on their traditional regalia. We we wanted to definitely copy from others and and stuff yes. like that. Whereas it's it's not in, not that it's totally wrong, but at the end of the day shouldn't you really try to portray exactly who you are so what project should we be looking forward to like what are you working on right now at the moment i'm working on some very real original stuff okay very unique and so beautiful portraying the beauty and the richness of our culture mm -hmm. and this march coming up i'll be accompanying one of cameroon's baobab like one of cameroon's legend in in, in music uh sally jam wow. i'll be accompanying him his national tour that That's is great. marking his 45th anniversary in music and other projects with other great acts so it's going to be a very very busy year and aside that with the Hawaii stuff dressing that I brought up this year okay I'll be equally dressing up some artists like I've started putting on dressings for other musicians like Baba Pasta yeah I equally dressed up or what days while during the wedding. So Wawaii wants to diversify or exploit facets of yeah, You're bringing the business out of the music. Yes. yes. Like embracing the culture both music wise mm -hmm. and fashion wise. So it's definitely going to be a very serious, serious year. And this year, if you want to meet some of what we do at Wawaii Designs, you can come at the Formaric Festival. Oh, you, okay. Or you're you having come, a stand there. Yes. A stand there. Yes. Or you come to the Wawaii shop at Bali, opposite Eneo. Okay. Yes, you will see it's a different You're going side. to give us a number, definitely. Yes, some point. you give us a different side of Wawaii. So, yes, I'll give you the numbers. Should I give it now? Yeah, you can, you can just write on with that. <laughs> you can just write on All right. Six, seven, zero, seven, zero, <coughs> five, seven, five, five. Again, seven zero seven zero five seven five five. Then on Facebook, Wawaye shop, shop Wawaye, sorry, shop and slash Wawaye. All right, yes. so do you, do you like write all your songs back to the music? You write your songs, everything, yes, most of my songs, and I write them. Then others, I equally take inspirations from songs that have been re recorded, okay, and have been forgotten by the, the, the new generation. You know, a lot of so songs have been attached to meanings, That's histories, true. trying to educate, trying to sensitize a young girl and stuff. But now when you sing some of them, a lot of young people don't know. So I tend to recuperate some of these faint whispers. And give them a new look. Uh, yes. Or you remind us of uh, yes. where we come from. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So as a, as, as a unique artist because you definitely are and, and one who is trying to remind us of exactly where we come from and, and where we are going to what has been some of the most difficult moments you've experienced okay <clears throat> having people and especially DJs tend to valorize our music our traditional Cameroon authentic music okay. has been a, a challenge and when, when you step in the club and you get DJs playing traditional music from Nigeria, you're like, what's wrong with our own traditional music? Mm -hmm. But with time, I think it's getting better. Then equally having companies giving more value to, to, to musicians that valorize other jazz of music aside from our heritage, mm -hmm. aside from Cameroon, aside from, Cam like for instance, in Nigeria, we have King Sonny Ade, who is to the magnitude of Manu Tibango and, and maybe a Risha Bona, that I had the pleasure in to, to once share a stage with some time ago in the USA. He is like he's like a reference in Nigeria. He's so he's so valorized. 
companies valorize them who valorize uh, their culture. But when companies come here in, in Cameroon, I'm always so <laughs> touched that they used to valorize other jazz of music and the key. That's been the, the relegate artists promoting um, our own Cameroon, our vision, our identity, our yeah. heritage. They instead <coughs> push push them aside. But I'm really happy it is getting better with time. So those are some of the challenges that I had, especially at the beginning of my career. Okay. But now it's getting better. It's good. Okay. Now, if I say it's, it's not good, then I'm just being ungrateful. <laughs> Taking into consideration some of the platforms that have represented the colors of our nation. Okay. Both uh, nationally and internationally. All right. Having to perform severally at the, at the presidency to me has been a blessing. And receiving awards like uh, the Best Folklore last year at the Red Feather Award. So to me, it's like... So there's a, there's a green light surrounding Cameroon music. A sparkling <laughs> green light. Go back. I encourage you guys, you young girls, go back to the depths of it. There is something that the world needs to discover about our nation, Correct. about our beautiful rhythms, about our long sea, about our JBC, about our Kidifu, about wow. our Bagalu. That we are still not giving it out. So I encourage you, go to dig it, show it. Everywhere they will dance with it. They will dance with it and you'll be like, wow, yes, it's true. Just try. Just try. Just try. Let's yeah. embrace our, okay? Let's embrace our, 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 our culture. She said it so beautifully. In fact, she definitely has, she definitely have everything figured out when it comes to your career or at least you're confident that this is exactly what we're supposed to be doing to make Camunia music better. So you had anyone told us about how to shop Wawaii, but now for... The artistic side, well, that was still art. Yeah. Uh, as the musician, okay, what was the name on the various social media platforms? Chili Wawaye. Okay. Wawaye. W A W A Y E. On Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, Chili Wawaye. Right. Chili has double L and yeah. I. So YouTube, same too. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any last words to those watching you and it's super, super. Admire you. What are you going to tell them? Persist till the impossible becomes possible. Persist till the impossible becomes possible. Have faith. Have faith. That's because my when you have faith, people tend to believe in you. People tend to admire you. People tend to listen. But when you just have a, an iota of doubt, they will not even have the time to listen to a doubtful statement. So just have confidence. Have faith. Okay, before you perform for us the soundtrack uh, in which you first featured uh, Baba Master as our technicians, get everything set yes, up. Tell us, tell us a little bit about, about it. Yes, okay, as I earlier said, Chili Wawaii has been doing indigenous music, but with time has been trying or uh, diversifying. Okay. Yes, uh, taking our traditional mother tongue to diversify with other genres. Okay. So this time I tried to step out a little bit from my comfort zone. And try something new. Yes, and try something new. Okay. And I was looking forward to work with a fellow Cameroonian artist. So Baba Master listened to the instrument and he was like, Chili, this instrument is telling me something. Let's try something. Let's try something. Okay. So, and that's how we did Pata Pata with inspiration from Miriam Makiba. Okay. Oh. So I decided to do, to do Asi Pata Pata. So I used the word Pata Pata from Miriam Makeba. Okay. With that said, before you go perform, just give us a small a cappella. You were already getting me into the spirit. So something small before we okay. round up the program with I your do performance. Something small, but definitely not from Pata Pata. <laughs> okay, no problem. Because you're going to listen to Pata Pata. Sure. I am Gasuma now, thankful she is. The one we jaw, one we give for. I've been beaming you, yeah, baby, meta. Jabby, beaming you, yeah, eat a hit at all. Oh, because the key for you want to run for me, now me carry to touch you. I owe one to Fonjica. You may really make more one one to. Oh, wow, you. Cut from the room. When I shut the baby, when I hear one day, me catch up. That was really great. Awesome. I never watched you or seen you well. All the music videos, like having you do that live. Oh my God. 
Thank God I have a long dress. You'd have seen the, uh, <laughs> seen the goosebumps. Anyway, thank you for having joined us on the program this thank afternoon. Thank you so much, Faith. We hope you come again. I will always come again. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that was Chili Wawaii right here on Maluku. And as our technicians indicate, want to thank you all for taking out time to watch the program. Whether you watched in silence or you participated in one way or the other, uh, we are so so grateful. And we're hoping that you do well to uh, check her out. Check out the shop, uh, she says, the shop Wawaii. Yes, do I do I check it out on all social media platforms as well as her normal artist uh, uh should i say profile on all social media platforms as well and on youtube do well to subscribe very very important so she's performing right now pata pata featuring baba master ladies and gentlemen for your viewing pleasure let's go Kill man today.